could see from this sort of the, the importance that networking plays in this, in this sort of multi-everything multi adoption, multi-platform adoption, and sort of the critical functionality that console provides. And so it's very important that console as, is as easy to adopt as possible. The console core team has been doing really good work every single release to make that easier. Um, if you look back at the past few releases, we've made securing by default easier. Uh, we've made introducing ACLs easier. We've made upgrades a little bit easier. There's been, little by little, we've made things easier. But we always wanted to do more. And so you know, we, we went to the drawing boards, like, what can we do to make console easier to adopt? And an obvious answer stood out, which is we could run it for you. And so today, I'm excited to announce uh, the HashiCorp console service on Azure. So HDS uh, on Azure is the easiest way to launch and integrate service discovery and service mesh. It is console as a service, uh, and it is also the first fully managed service mesh as a service. Uh, the features, you, as a service, you get the features you would expect. Um, we provision console clusters for you automatically. Uh, we handle backup and restore. We handle upgrades. We handle scale up and scale down. And all of this is consumption-based pricing, uh, uh, time-based pricing. It's not, not a big upfront commitment. By integrating very deeply with Azure, we're able to keep Azure native identity and billing. So with this release, uh, you actually are able to, you don't need to sign up with us. You could use an Azure identity, and our costs show up on your first class Azure bill, and are billed directly through however you pay Azure. But all of this is HashiCorp managed. So when you create a console cluster, when a backup is necessary, when we perform an upgrade, uh, all of that control plane work is handled through software that's built and run by us. It runs in our data centers, or cloud data centers. Um, the software is written by our engineers, et cetera. Uh, we've hired and built out a HashiCorp SRE team that is handling the management of all the customer clusters. Uh, but all the while, we've partnered with Microsoft to sort of deeply integrate uh, across from uh, sales to technical implementation. As a quick diagram of how this works, but we'll run through a demo, uh, but a quick visual diagram starting in the middle and then going right and then left. Uh, so you would find the HCS sort of uh, application. You would ask us to create it. That comes back to our software, and we handle the creation. And the creation of the cluster actually shows up in your account in a managed group. Uh, we have access to modify the resources just in that group. But by putting it into your account, you could easily do VNet peering or handle any way to sort of get access to those console clusters. It's way easier to see with a demo. Uh, so I'm going to just show you a recorded video of what this looks like. Uh, so what we're going to start with here is the page you would see after hitting Create Console Cluster. And you'll notice this is just right in the Azure portal. Uh, it's, it feels just sort of like a first class system directly in Azure. And so this, this is the first thing you see. So I'm going to start the video here. Um, one of the first things we'll show you is selecting the region. Uh, we are supporting right away at launch uh, every single Azure region that they support, every single public Azure region. You would select your resource group that you want to launch this in. You could create a new one, which is what we're going to do here, an uh, empty resource group to launch all the console resources into. And then after this, you hit Next, and you're presented with a bunch of console settings. So you could name your cluster, name the logical data center, choose the console version you want to deploy, uh, determine your backup and upgrade behavior. You know, do you want auto automatic upgrades? Do you want manual upgrades? Uh, what interval do you want us to take snapshots in? Uh, there's a number of options here that you could choose. So you go ahead and choose them, hit Next. We validate the configuration for you. And then once it's valid, you could hit Create. That initiates a deployment, which we'll click into here. The deployment takes a few minutes. We fast forward it in the video. Um, but the deployment takes a few minutes. Pretty soon, you'll see an HCS uh, instance show up right here. And then very shortly after that, that'll become clickable. When you click uh, into that HCS instance, you land on an HCS on Azure dedicated page. And you'll see in the sidebar a bunch of console-specific things. So the first one we look at is the console clusters list. This lists the full, all the clusters you have. You could add more. Um, you could see metadata about it, the version, so on. Uh, and if you select the cluster, you could do a bunch of manual steps, such as manual, manually forcing a snapshot or manually performing an upgrade. 
And then in the left hand side, you'll see a link to the UI as well. So we click that here. And when you click the UI, it loads the console UI directly in the Azure portal. Um, this is a lot fancier than it looks, actually, because what we're doing here is when we deploy a console cluster, we deploy everything secured by default. TLS is fully set up, ACLs are fully set up, gossip encryption is all there. Um, so when you load this UI, you'll notice that there's sort of no token entry required or anything. Since we integrate deeply with Azure, when you clicked that button, we were actually able to use your Azure identity to prove that you have access to the console UI and log you right in. And so you get access directly there. You could also choose optionally to put the UI on an external endpoint if you want to handle uh, access yourself, or you could keep it private and only access it through the Azure portal. Uh, and so that is everything about console. So HCS on Azure is available in private beta today. Uh, if you'd like to get access to it, please get in touch with us. Uh, and you can look at hashcorp.com slash HCS to learn more.